Hey guys, my name is Andy Circus, and today I'm going to be showing you how I created two awesome Descendants 3 doll cakes. We got Mal and we got Audrey. I'm pretty pleased with how these turned out because I like Audrey's dress. So let's get started. Hey. Now usually I wear a jean jacket and a white t-shirt but it is a million degrees in LA right now, you guys. How many degrees exactly? Oh, well, it's only 83, but it feels like 100. So instead of wearing a jean jacket, I'm gonna be hitting you guys with some freshness. We got some shoulder action. We got some sleeveless shirt. I got some ungelled, untamed, wavy hair. I can't turn on the air conditioner while I'm talking to the camera because it's just super loud. So this is how I'm coping with the heat. To start these cakes, I'm just doing all of the doll cake basics. I'm using my Wilton's doll cake pan. I love this thing. Cut my cake into three equal layers. Soak them with some simple syrup and then added some buttercream into the middle. Right before I covered it with a crumb coat and a fix it coat of buttercream. I bought a second pan because I work on multiple doll cakes at the same time and it's hard when you gotta put in one pan and then you gotta wait 45 minutes and then you gotta take it out and then you gotta bake another cake and wait another 45 minutes. Uh-uh. Two cakes at the same time. I probably need a third one too. I think that's a towel on the floor. Okay, it's gone. Now I have created a ton of Descendants doll cakes. I've got a lot, probably like 500 by now. And if you want to see all of my Descendants creations, there are videos for you on my channel and there will be an autoplay of my favorite five at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned. So first, let's create Mal. I'm starting with white fondant and I'm just going to wrap my entire cake with it. Now the thing that I love the most about Mal in this movie is that we got to explore her father's side. First two movies, we saw how her mother influenced her. She turns into a dragon just like her mom. She always wears purple like her mom. But in the third one, we get to see how her father or lack of a father affected who she is. And if you watch the previous Mal doll cakes and you know that those cakes were inspired by Maleficent. So with this one, I tried to go with a very different look and have it be inspired by Hades, her father. One of the things I loved about her costume was a double-breasted collar. I think that's what it is? Yeah. Um, so I decided to go with that, overlapping some gray and black to create the top of it. I think it looks pretty spectacular. And you, you know it, it's got the deep V too. I love the deep V for some reason. Now Hades hair is consumed in flames and I wanted to translate that onto this dress which is kind of ironic because the way that I created the flame look was through a watercolor effect. I started with a royal blue and just had it blend into the white using a little bit of magic sauce. Pretty simple technique, pretty simple. I added a little bit of black luster dust just to give her collar a little bit more of a leather look and voila! My Mal doll cake was complete. This cake was super simple compared to Audrey. But I think it's just as striking. I love the top, I love the watercolor. It looks like Hades and I'm proud of that. Now let's get to Audrey. Now to create Audrey, I'm starting with my cake and covering it with a very soft pink fondant. There's a little bit of a marbling effect just because, you know, she's very magical in this movie as opposed to the other two. Or the other one, because she wasn't in the second one. So I'm going for a really deep V again, you guys. I used this thing. Can you see it? Can you see it now? There we go. It creates a very like rounded edge. Mal's dress and Mal's style is so much more modern and rigid and Aubrey's style is so much more classic, just like her mom. The roundness gives it so much more of a softness. Now these sail folds are like my favorite thing in the entire world. Not really, but for doll cakes, yes. I'm paneling two on each side and it just gives this cake so much more of a flow and makes it look more like a real dress as opposed to just a doll cake. This looks like a Barbie doll dress that you could buy at a store. But you can't because I made it. Now Audrey's dress in the movie has a lot of texture. There's some pinks, there's grays, there's blacks. There's so much detail in the gown that Audrey's wearing. 
Is it Audrey or Aubrey? I don't remember. It's Audrey. Oh, God. Okay, good. Now, to create all of these texture, I decided that I'm just going to use a sponge. I took a clean sponge, I cut it up, and I just started adding some spots of pink luster dust to give this more texture, almost like a pattern on a dress. Now for the bottom of the dress, I'm using a little bit of gray and black. Then I'm adding on some more fondant pieces. Now Audrey, I think, has the biggest arc of this movie. In the first movie, Audrey is like a goody two-shoes. In the third movie, we kind of see that fall apart. I feel like in Ordon, you're kind of expected to live that fairy tale life, right? And then this girl comes from the island of all the baddies and she ruins everything and you're young and you don't know how to deal with it. So you take a wand and you put everybody to sleep and you turn them into stone. When you're young, you kind of don't know how to deal with feelings and so you just do irrational things. <laughs> um, but in the process of doing all these horrible things, you get to wear these pretty bomb looking outfits, including this dress. Now, there's a lot of black detail on this dress and I'm just using some very small brush strokes to make it look like the texture that's on the dress that she wears in the movie. So I got a base coat on and then I'm adding some silver with a sponge. Yes, look at that. Last but not least, I wanted to add a cape. Capes aren't just for superheroes, they're for bomb looking dresses as well. This movie isn't meant for me. <laughs> but one of the things that always interested me was the idea of punishing children for the sins of their parents. And that's kind of why I was drawn to this franchise. And voila, my Audrey cake was complete. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I don't care because I love it. I love the black. I love how metallic the gray is and how it really highlights all of the texture and all the fondant pieces I added to the cake. Yeah, the Mal cake and the Audrey cake are so different, but I think they really speak to the character development in this movie. What do you think? I'm curious. What did you think of the third one? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.